Here we have a SAT math question on geometry. Okay, let's go to the information. Your circle has center G and points M and N lie on the circle. Line segments MH and NH are tangents to the circle at points M and N respectively. If the radius of the circle is 168 millimeters and the perimeter of the quadrilateral G, M, H, and is uh, 3856 millimeters, what is the distance in millimeters between G and H? Okay, so you know, first step, what we can do is uh, let's uh, sketch a diagram for the given information. Okay, first, let me draw a circle uh, over here. Okay, and also, uh, so when I look at uh, the information about the tangents, I find the MH and NH. So these two line segments are tangents and in these two line segments, I find the common point H. So that is, uh, these two tangents are drawn to the circle uh, from the point H externally. So now let me consider a point uh, externally. So over here, so this is a point H. So now I'm going to draw two tangents uh, to the circle from the point H over here. Let me do it. Okay, I've drawn two tangents uh, to the circle from the point H. And now uh, let me draw the radius. Okay, so here uh, we have the center G and uh, the tangent, uh, which are the two tangents which I have drawn uh, from the point H. Uh, the first tangent uh, uh, touches a circle at the point M and the second tangent uh, touches a circle at point N. So we have MH and NH, uh, two tangents. And uh, this is the center of the circle G. And uh, this GM represents uh, the radius of the circle because uh, this is a line segment we have drawn from the center. Uh, to a point M on the circle. Always it represents the radius and GN also radius. And the radius is given that is 168 millimeters. Okay, so here at the point of tangency, the angle measure between uh, the radius and the tangent is always right angle, that is 90 degree over here. So the same thing uh, here at the point of tangency, the angle uh, between the radius and the tangent H is right angle. Okay, here uh, we have drawn two tangents, MH and NH, uh, from the same point H. So whenever we draw two tangents to a circle from a from an external point, so the two tangents will be equal in length. That is, whatever length we have for MH, the same length we will have for uh, NH. So I assume uh, the length of uh, the tangent MH as X. Then what is the length of the tangent NH? That should also be X. So if you draw two tangents to a circle from the same external point, they must be equal in length. Okay, now we have a quadrilateral uh, according to the question we have. That is uh, here we have G, M, H, N. So uh, this polygon has four sides and so it's a quadrilateral. And the perimeter of this quadrilateral G, M, H, N is given that is 3856. Anyway, so we can find the perimeter of the quadrilateral from the figure we have drawn over here. So how can we find the perimeter of a polygon? So it's very simple. We just have to add the lengths of uh, all the sides. Here in this quadrilateral, we have four sides. We have to add, if I add the lengths of all the four sides of this quadrilateral, GMH in the figure, GMH in the figure, I'll be getting the perimeter. Okay, let me add. This is the first side, second side, third side, and fourth side. So now let me add them. Then I'm getting... Uh, X positive, X positive, uh, 168 positive, 168. Uh, okay, so I have added all the, I have added the lengths of all the four sides of the quadrilateral in the figure. So this expression represents the perimeter. But this perimeter is already given in the question, that is 3856. Okay, now what I need to do is I have to draw for, uh, I mean, I have to solve for H in this uh, equation. So uh, when I combine this X and X, I'm getting uh, 2X. And when I combine this 1 and 68 and 1 and 68, I'm getting 336 uh, equals to 3856. Okay, now let me subtract 336 from both sides. When I do so, this positive 336, negative 336 is cancelled. I'm getting 2x on the left side. On the right side, when I subtract 336 uh, uh, from uh, 3856, I'm getting 3520. So now uh, let me divide both sides by 2 to solve for x. So this 2, 2 will cancel out and x equals to, when I divide 3520 by 2, I am getting 1760. Okay, I have solved for x. So here we can replace in the figure, we can replace the x by uh, 1760. That is the length of uh, each tangent is 1760. Okay, according to the question, uh, we have to find the distance between the uh, two points G and H, I mean the center G and the external point H. Okay, now let me draw a line uh, between G and H. So now my aim is to get the length of uh, the red color line segment GH. 
Okay, so let's consider the triangle GMH. Actually, it is a right triangle because we have a right angle over here. So in this right triangle, this GH uh, represents the hypotenuse because uh, this is opposite to the right angle. So, and uh, we can use Pythagorean theorem uh, in this right triangle GMH. Okay, let's consider the right triangle GMH. So in any right triangle, uh, according to Pythagorean theorem, uh, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to uh, sum of the squares of the other two legs. So here GH is the hypotenuse. So when I square GH, it has to be equal to sum of the squares of other two legs. That is square of GM and square of MH. So I'm getting uh, GM square positive MH square. Okay, so GH, I do not know. That is what actually I have to find. So I can keep this GH square as it is. And for GM, I know the length. That's a radius 1 and 68. So I can plug in 1 and 68 for GM. And for MH, I know the length 1760. So I can plug in 1760 for MH. So GH square. Uh, when I square 1 and 68, uh, I'm getting 28,224. When I square 1760, I'm getting 3,000,000. 97,600. Okay, so GH square equals to when I add them, I'm getting uh, 3,125,824. Okay, to solve for GH, I have to get rid of the square. For that, I have to take uh, square root on both sides. So when I take square root on both sides, the square root and square root cancel out. And GH is equal to, so when I take square root for 3,125,824, uh, I'm getting uh, 1,768. Usually when we take square root for a number, we consider positive or negative uh, sign for the result. But here GH represents uh, the line segment in the given figure. So the length of the line segment can now be a negative value. So in this positive or negative, we can consider only positive sign for this value. Anyways, uh, I got the length of GH. That is the distance uh, between G and uh, H. So that is 1,768 uh, millimeters. So the correct answer choice for this question is uh, option D, 1,768.